Alright, cool. So that unlocks a, a future memory that we'll eventually get to here. Which is gonna be good. Alright. Time for confrontation. I need answers. So I'm assuming this is gonna involve reverie. Ursula is still speaking. A ripple of laughter echoes through the crowd. Sniffles. The occasional repressed sob. The answers I need aren't here. They aren't in Brittle. It's time to return to Reverie. To confront the aspirations. They owe me and... They'll help me. If they can find someone else to solve their problems. My voice will be heard. A silence. Okay, interesting. You no, know, I'm not even gonna look up there. My voice will be heard. I close my eyes and the red sky of reverie appears before me. Well, only recently I saw nothing but beauty in this landscape. I now feel injustice. I've done so much for this realm and its inhabitants. And its inhabitants. I've given so much of myself. I can't go on like this. Our arrangement has to change. I know they can hear my thoughts. I know they can feel my distress. The only question is, who will respond? Chaos listens. Bliss apologizes. Bond pledges allegiance. Wait a minute. No, we're gonna go here. We're gonna Bond pledges his allegiance. A warm feeling of contentment washes over me. Bond. These are strange times. Even those of us who have lived for generations haven't seen their light. It makes one wonder what the point of being an emotional gestalt even is. A gestalt. You feel different. Y yes. Yes, I, I, I have changed these past few weeks. The state of reverie, the business with glory and chaos, I have not been my usual self. And for that, I apologize. Interesting. It's fine. But I need your help now. All of you. I cannot speak for the others. But you have my allegiance. I will walk with you through these dire times. Okay. Reality shivers. I open my eyes. Instead of brittle, or even revelry, I see nothing but the void. Like I've awoken underwater. Strangely, I'm not scared. It's almost calming being here. Between the realms. Now there are footsteps and voices muffled. Like they're coming from above the surface. I can feel the effects of my conversation and reverie rippling outwards. What consequences will it have had? Okay, so now this is where things are going to get a little bit hectic, it looks like. So if we go this way, then we can't go back the other way. But if we go this way, we can't go back that way. The crowd shouts, the crowd cheers. Encourage Jade to speak, make a speech, listen to the crowd. See, I'd like to get, I'd like to get here, unite Alma, right? So I need a bond crystal, which we already have. And we need ten power crystal, or we need a power crystal too, which we already have. Or we don't have. Okay, so... Let's go this way, because then we can go here, ask Jade what to do next, 
and then the truth is optimistic. Yes, let's go here. Boom. I close my eyes again, and the sound's clear. I'm back in the garden. The crowd is applauding the end of Ursula's speech. Not just applauding, cheering. Which is odd, considering the context. Someone grabs my shoulder. Omar. Didn't you hear? No, I, I was uh, away. You in? Never mind. Listen. Oh, boy. Ursula just told everyone. Alma, the whole community. They've launched a class action lawsuit against MK. What? Yeah. It was her idea. It might even help the prescients. Her way of apologizing, I guess. He beams at me, claps me on my shoulder, and moves off. This is a big deal. MK controls the police, the security apparatus of Athena, but they've never managed to stack the courts. This might actually move the needle a little. Is this happening because of what I said? What I said in Revelry? Truth is there. The situation pivots once more. What's up, homie? I certainly didn't expect this. Not at all. It's not like my mother to be so community-minded. Death is the ultimate clarifier. Your mother has changed. Interesting. The question now is... Will you change along with her? The crowd shifts from cheering to chatting as many people start discussing things at once. I should make the most of this high energy moment. Okay. Have two truth crystals. Alright, so let's do this here. Ask Jade what to do next. I head over toward Jade. She's using a, She's used to fighting this fight. Maybe she has some inspiring words of, or encouragement. Unsurprisingly, she's still with Nora. The two of them have been stuck to each other all night. What do you make of all that, then? Not sure. Still processing. But it's good, right? It's definitely good. It's another step. We all need to rest before we even think about actually taking it. Think of everything we've done in, what, a week? It's crazy. It is kind of crazy. This is all taking place in, like, a, the span of, like, a week. I want to see how the trial goes. I'm used to facing MK in the trenches, you know? Civil disobedience, all that jazz. I wonder what can be done in the courtroom. Interesting. Alma's the type of community that bands together in a crisis. We can help each other more if we rest. Rest? After seeing Ursula actually give a shit again. Uh -huh. I feel like I've just drunk ten espressos. <laughs> Fair. That's how I felt at first. When I met you all, I was... I was in a bad place. Burned out. Disillusioned. Wonder what that's like. But thanks to you, Nora. I figured out how to prioritize. Deal with my own needs. As well as Alma's. Yeah, well, I guess I need to find myself a Nora. Nora smiles and blushes a little. I don't want to see you lot make the same mistakes I did. That makes sense. I'm glad you don't sugarcoat it. But your expertise, your work, it's still inspiring. Yeah, it is. I understand what you mean, Jade. <sighs> My mind is in so many places at once. It's disorienting. It takes you over. Right. Which is why we need to keep ourselves sharp. Okay. So we still can't do that yet because we have to do the other we have to listen to these other two. So I have two truth crystals. Okay, so if we do this we gain another bliss, but then we lose a truth. And then if we do this one, we get we have to have that and that. Okay. And we'd lose another truth from this one. Damn, we're losing all the truth ones. I make for Ursula. I want to know everything she has planned. She's shaking hands, touching arms like a triumphant politician. Which, well, I, I, I suppose she almost is. Quite the speech. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't let you in on the secret earlier, but, well, 
I didn't want to take anything away from all this. Laszlo will be proud. She's momentarily taken aback. You think so? I know so. Mm -hmm. The last thing he'd have wanted is his... His, his death distracting us from the real goal. Mm -hmm. The real goal. I've wondered about that. What it actually is. The end of MK. The freeing of Atina and the unification of Reverie. I suppose. Hardly much to ask for, is it? She smiles, making her excuses. A local paper wants an interview. When I turn away, Nora is there. You okay? I should be asking you that. I'm fine. Come on. Every morning I wake up with the world's worst headache, and I still can't hear out of my right ear. Oh, good. Nora. Small price to pay for, you know, stopping MK. I don't know about that. For now. I want to scream to the world how proud I am of her. How she's become one of the strongest women I know. I want to grab her and never let go. Instead, I touch her arm and smile. She smiles back. Nothing more is needed. My phone buzzes. It's Yana. I take the excuse to separate myself from the crowd. It's all a little too much. I text them the news of how happy I am about these developments. Oh, okay. So now get to know the people of Alma. So guys, to have a truth, which we have one. Have a power, which we have one. We're going to gain a bond, but we're going to lose our final truth. But we're going to gain five truths at the end here. So we've lost three truths, but we're going to have five at the end. I decided to tour the crowd to reconnect with the faces of my past. At first, it's difficult. Everyone's so excited about Ursula's news that they've clustered in knots of friends. Tight-knit circles with no point of entry. But then someone recognizes me. Calls my name. Then another person, and another. Soon I'm moving from person to person. Introductions and names flowing freely. I learn about new mutual aid projects, including a community kitchen in the works, where people can share food, appliances, and other resources. Another group of people tells me about their work tracking and repelling drone activity. I'll never remember everyone I just met, but every now and then I see someone I recognize. And I realize how much I miss this place. Atina. My home. Alright, so now we go here. The truth is optimistic. 